Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video session, I'm going to solve computer science paper 2 problem solving and programming paper 21, variant 21, May June 2022. Let's start the session. And I hope that you have read the scenario. But I'm going to start task one. Becoming a member of friends of CVU, CVU Pyre. Set up a system to enable people to become a members of friends, friends of CVU Pyre. And for each new members, enter their first name and last name. And they will work as a volunteer or not. If they will work as a volunteer, which area they will work? Maybe on entrance gate, maybe on gift shop or painting and decorating any one of them then we will take another parameter as a input that is date of joining and last parameter is the payment whether they have paid or not yet for this purpose i have taken a data structure array personal person underscore info and this array contains seven index means length is eight okay index start from zero to seven on index number zero that is that is first name index number one last name index number two volunteer and index number three entrance gate and so on till last is index number seven payment suppose i want to give you some examples how i will store the data one example is suppose i have written a name ahmed and last name is ali and this is working as a volunteer that's why i have written yes when they will work as a volunteer yes then one of the options should be yes maybe entrance gate maybe gift shop or painting but i have uh, written yes on entrance gate this is a second record in this case i put yes on gift shop this is the third record i have put uh, paint uh, yes on painting and decorating and this is another record and in this case this and this person is not working as a volunteer that's why i i have put no in all the fields volunteer entrance gate no gift shop no and painting also no okay and this is another record with the name of sonia khan yes and uh, entrance gate is yes now if you will see how many volunteer there are four volunteers, Ahmed, Raj, John, and last one is the Sonia, yes. Entrance gate, how many people are working on entrance gate? There are two people, Ahmed and Sonia. And how many people are working in gift shop? That is one person, name is Raj. Painting and decorating, only one person is working on painting and decorating, that is John. Who had paid three people has paid the payment that is Ahmed, John and Sonia. This is the program task one I have written in Python programming language. I will explain you. First I want to run this program. I have written enter the first name. First name is was Ahmed last name ali press y to work volunteer i'm saying yes which area they want to select i'm writing number one next enter the date of joining in date of joining i'm entered 12 06 2021 Do you want to pay it? No. I have written no. Do you want to pay it? No. I have written no. And? No, this record is stored. Ahmed, first name. Ali is the second name. They will work as a volunteer. Yes. Work on entrance gate. And other options are no. And this is date and time. And date and time I have written in form of first years and then month and then date and this is the 
zero means they did not paint okay i will store the record in this format i have used import date and time from date class and this is a volunteer options three options and user will enter one of them which they will select it will return in the main members personal information will take the individual records and member information contains the all the records into one array and this is the message and first name you will enter the first name and person info append will be on index number zero that is first name then last name and last name will append on index number one and if you will work as a volunteer then in case of yes it will ask you to print yes in case in on index number two that is volunteer on index number two and ch volunteer options they will display volunteer option and if user will select one it means entrance gate on index number three and other options are no okay and that is four and five if user will enter number two in case of choice number two first option is no second option is on that is yes and third option is again no in case of choice number three first two options are no and third option is yes and after this it will send you message if you will select something else you did not select the area okay and after this in case of else if user will not enter anything then all the things should be no no in case of you are not working as a volunteer then after this it will require input and input will be stored in form of day month and year and date of joining and it will become it will give a date or mean function mean i am uh, converting this one into date format that is y1 m1 d1 i why i put y1 because by default it is y1 when i will calculate uh, some date uh, operations then it's easy for me okay then person information i store into this array that is the date of joining will store into person information dot append on index number six and then payment if they will pay it then is store 75 and if they will not pay it, then it will enter zero after this this all information person underscore information again will append it append to the members information and here i am going to display members information okay this is task number one now i am going to uh, show you task number two what is in task number two Using the membership data, extend the program task one so that a list of the first and last last names of members can be output in any of the following categories. First and last names of members can be output in any of the following categories. Members who have chosen to work as a volunteers, volunteer who would like to work at their fire entrance gate, volunteer who would like to work in gift shop. I will show you one by one all of these. This is task number two. Task number two, and I will show you one by one all the options. Okay, this is the main. This is the main, and main we have discussed uh, same as in task number one. Okay, what is the change is there? I have applied this one. Volunteer members. Okay, volunteer underscore members. When I will run this. Suppose I am going to enter two members, Ahmed, last name Ali, volunteer, work as a volunteer, yes, which area, number one, date of joining 01, 01, 2021, next, do you want to pay it, yes, 
and do you want to add another member no i will say yes i will add another member and this i will not store as a uh, this member will not work as a volunteer then this case what i will do i will write suppose name is raj last name is kumar volunteer then no date of joining 01 02 20 2022 and do you want to pay no i'm saying yes do you want to add another member no now so in this case you have seen that ahmed ali they are showing ahmed ali they are showing only ahmed and ali ahmed is the first name and ali is the second name okay because in case of raj raj kumar that is he is not working as a volunteer okay this is volunteer option he is not working as a volunteer that's why they are not showing the name here raj kumar okay then next is next option if i will go to second option second option is volunteer members at gate entrance who are working as a gate entrance i will enter another record i will show you another record enter the first name suppose i am writing a first name is a last name is b and press y to work for volunteer yes where they will work they will work on number 1 that is by the entrance gate and enter the first person's date means date of joining that is 01 01 2021 okay paid no they will work you will enter another person yes now enter the first name no i am entering c and d and this one is also working as a volunteer but not on gate entrance gate it will work on number 2 that is gift shop okay date of joining 02 02 and 2020 20 okay and paid yes do you want another member no <coughs> no so it will shows me a and b they are writing here volunteer a and b because they are working on entrance gate one and if you will go to this one and uh, this one is entrance this is second record entrance is y but this person is working on number 2 number 2 is the gift shop okay that's why this record is not display okay and this record is about c and d c and d is not showing c and d okay only a and b is showing why a and b is showing because first name and last name is last name is a and b and this is working on number 1 this is on number 1 okay so so in this way you can show volunteer members at gift shop volunteer members at painting task you can uh, remove the comment and then you can work it on, work on it okay what i have written the code i will show you the code this is volunteer members members who have chosen to work what i am doing i have apply a loop records in members information and record number 2 yes because volunteer is on number 2 okay if you will go to the first page see volunteer is on number 2 index number 2 i am going to check this number 2 okay if record 2 equal equal to yes then you will add first name that is on index number 0 and last name that is on index number 1 this is volunteer members at entrance gate i am checking record number 3 if record number 
means index of 3 is equal equal to yes then you can display first name and last name volunteer members at gift shop this is index number 4 i am checking if index number 4 equal equal to yes then they will display these two these two fields that is first name and last name and painting and decorating shop that is index number 4 that is index number 5 this is on index number 5 okay painting and decorating shop on and index number 5 yes i put index number 5 and then they will display these values and members expire the membership what they will do they will say number of days calculate the number of days and if number of days number of days is greater than two day mean they will check that they will calculate the number of days date of joining and two day date and if it is more than 366 then they will expire their their membership has been expired and they will display the first name and last name and members who did not pay if records equal equal to zero then they will display the first name and last name okay now i'm moving to task number three This is the task number three. Add an additional option to the program in task number one to enable the pile's wooden plank to be sponsored. So a separate data structure should be used to store the names of the individual and the short messages they would like to have written on their brass plaque. An output would display everything that was input for the Spencer to confirm if errors are found. The program should allow data to be re-entered once complete the data stored at the sponsor is charged $200. This is the task number three. Okay, I want to run this. Welcome to friends of CVO Pyre organization. Do you wish to sponsor the wooden plank? I'm saying yes. Under the first name, Ahmed. Last name, Majid. Enter the date of joining, 01, 02. 2022 your details are as following please confirm your first name is ahmed your last name is majid your date of this joining not birth date of joining is 010222 and you have to pay 200 dollar is it correct if you will say no then it will ask you to again enter the first name first name is suppose ahmed Last name is Ali. Okay. Date of joining, date 01 02 20 2022. Okay. Is it correct? If you will say yes, then it will display you Ahmad Ali and date is this. Okay. And you have to pay $200. Okay. And last, this I will make to date of joining. Okay, and this is the code. Sponsor, this is the message will display. Do you wish to uh, wish to sponsor the wooden plank? If yes, then in case of I am checking this value, if sponsor is yes, capital Y or small y, then it will loop will be continue until break. When it is break, break is if confirmation is yes. If confirmation is yes then they will display this information and mean they will append this information into sponsor.info array and break it and last i'm showing sponsor.info and what i'm doing here i'm asking first name last name date of joining and payment after this i'm showing these details and after this i want to ask you is it correct detail yes no i'm asking the confirmation okay Thanks students and if you have any question please write me on comment. Thank you Jazakallah Khair and I am so sorry because it's too late. I, I have uploaded this video too late. Okay. Thanks and Jazakallah Khair.